Well, thanks so much for the responses that I got to last week's question, which was, what kind of things could we discover that might convince us that God is real? And you did some really great thinking, guys. Thanks for that. And you gave me loads of great ideas. Uh, Here are some of the ideas that you gave me. You said miracles and healings would help. Uh, A visit from God would help. Archaeological evidence. Reliable stories, or if the Bible could be proved reliable. Sightings of God would be really helpful. Near-death experiences might be helpful, answered prayer, or experiences of God speaking personally to you. All these things could be really helpful, couldn't they, in helping us be personally convinced of God's reality, where you've already said that uh, we're not completely sure about that one. All those things might help, and they're all really good. I'm just going to pick one of those for this week, and maybe look at some of the others over the next few weeks, uh, to see if any of them really are helpful, to see if there's anything that could help us to be sure that God is there or not, one way or the other. Uh, The one I want to pick for today is the near-death experiences one. Uh, Because I've heard one man's story, at least, and I've heard others too, but this guy, Ian McCormack, is a man who was stung by ten box jellyfish. Uh, He was pronounced dead. Uh, He was clinically dead for at least 15 minutes. There was a tag on his toe and he was placed in the morgue, and yet... Uh, he came alive again and this is a guy who is alive today. This is a story that's not that old and uh, I'll let him say a little bit more in this next clip. Have a look at this guy, uh, hear what he has to say and see what you make of it too. I was surfing and um, I had a diving accident where it appears as though I was pronounced clinically dead for approximately 15 minutes and um, during that time I found myself caught up in the presence of God and just continually wave after wave of his love and acceptance began to flow through him. It's like a tangible presence of God and his his light just flooded me with incredible peace. And as I stood in his presence and and, um, encountered more of God, it radically transformed my life. Prior to this, as you were saying, I was was um, a non-Christian, I was an atheist. and my concept of God was, oh, well, he wasn't there. It was, just, it was just all fairy tales. It was all mythology. It was obviously f- for weak people who believed in religion, couldn't handle reality. So, A man who says that he was dead and is alive again and he's alive today. A man who once was an atheist and now believes that Jesus is the only way for people to know God personally. And he spends most of his life travelling around the world telling people that story and inviting people to follow Jesus. An incredible story. I wonder what you make of it. Does Ian McCormack's story help to convince you God is real? And why? Or why not?
Hello everybody, it's me Shane Lee. I'm going to sing five octaves on the piano. singing five actors on the piano. 